Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome to episode number 187 here on season one. And today we are getting into investing in the blockchain without buying Bitcoin. This question comes from Tim Pfizer, and he asked, also, so I wanted to invest in the blockchain technology, but he just left. He just said tech uh, for short. Thanks for shortening it up for me. I appreciate it. And not Bitcoin just yet. How do I do that? Do I do that? So by now, I assume that you're probably already investing into Bitcoin a little bit just because of how we talked and that kind of thing. Basically, let me just describe the blockchain really quick. The blockchain is basically a technology that is an open decentralized ledger and, and buying and, and that, that can be Bitcoin is just one avenue that that ledger blockchain is used. So basically what it is is there's these little blocks of information that are stored on other everybody's computer and then when a block when it when the blockchain is updated, it records it on a few different computers, everybody verifies it, the mining, and then basically that's how it works. So thus the transactions don't take 2 to 3 business days, they take a few a matter of a few minutes to like maybe like a few hours so really quick transaction time because the whole blockchain the whole ledger updates at the same time basically so there are basically only a few actual companies besides like ICOs that actually do an ICO is an initial coin offering basically do blockchain blockchain check technology or investing into blockchain check technology and the companies that I'm going to specifically talk about today are going to be the companies that are traded on the NASDAQ and the New York Stock Exchange. So first and foremost, obviously there's, pro there's going to be like technology companies. Microsoft is number one. Microsoft has been sponsoring the blockchain, blockchain technology and is now funding, funding a, a, the founding member, the founding member of the Enterprise Ethereum Alliance which is comprised of about a, th a dozen different other companies including JP Morgan and uh, Toyota as well. Next would be IBM. IBM focus focused specifically on the blockchain technology in 2016 and using that technology and integrating that into IBM Watson. They also do focus on Ethereum mostly and how to integrate that into peer-to-peer, -peer, computer computer, business to business type transactions. Third would be overstock.com. The CEO Patrick Byron or Bi I was a terrible last names. Anyway, CEO Patrick <laughs> Mr. Patrick <laughs> said he's been a long proponent of, of Bitcoin and the blockchain technology and right now the, the company has launched a venture capital fund of $400,000 investing into the blockchain type technology and coins. Then you go into a little bit smaller kind of companies with Marathon Patent, Patent Group. They basically in early November announced that they'll acquire Global Venture which is a digital asset company that mines crypto currency. Then there's Riot Blockchain. Riot Blockchain was another company before they were a bio bioscience biotech company. Then they recently converted over to the to Riot Blockchain in like October, November, and they basically became the only Nasdaq peer blockchain company. Riot hopes to gain exposure through Ethereum, Bitcoin, and I believe Litecoin, and the company has also partnered with CoinSquare. There are a few other companies that do it all that you can also invest in on the blockchain however those aren't going to be traded on the nasdaq or the new york stock exchange like you got the bitcoin investment trust fund there is a few other companies that just are honorable mentions and what i'll do is i will list two links down in the comments both of them are going to be listed different companies that that are investing into the blockchain. Some of them are going to be Nasdaq specific companies. Other ones are going to be Nasdaq and other ex exchange company ex exchange industry companies. So, anyways, that wraps it up. Let's go ahead and dive into the question of the day, and that is: Is thirty five hundred dollars, thirty five thousand dollars before taxes enough to live on your own? And I believe that I already answered this question, but the answer is yes, as long as you. Your outgo doesn't exceed your income. You can always make it. You might have to change the location of where you live. For instance, if you were to live in San Diego, that would not be enough. To make it, you would have to move to a different city where the medium income is a lot lower so that you can afford the actual cost to live. Or you might have to, if you can relocate, maybe move to Thailand or a different country that 
the US dollar goes a lot farther and thus you can make your living there. So I hope that that helps you out. Anyways, if you guys have any questions regarding Stash, Acorns, Robinhood, as well as general investing advice, business, Etsy, coaching, post those questions down below and I will try to get them on the next episode. And until next time, don't forget to check out, don't forget to subscribe right up here and check out CoinFlash app recap November edition. Check out the other video right here. And as always, thank you for watching. I really appreciate it.